vlogging has been super not consistent. That's because I have been really struggling in my head. That's kind of the reason why it's been so sporadic or just not there. Kind of also just think that I don't want myself feeling sad or anxious to affect this so much. Like I like really, en I really enjoy vlogging. I really like doing it. I know maybe it doesn't really look like that, but I really, really do. So obviously I don't want me being upset with a lot of things to affect it kind of as much as it is affecting it. Anyways, I'm going to call the doctors because whenever I try to call them, they are, the line is busy. But also this week, so it's, it's Monday today, my birthday's on Friday. I also have a job interview on, on Friday. So I don't have, I don't have work because I have to go to the job interview. But I'm also applying for two more jobs. It's in a place I've never been to, so. That's gonna be a little bit scary. And it's gonna take me an hour and a half to get there. So the line was busy, always what happens. I have some dishes to do and I have all of this laundry to put away. So I do those two things and then try to call them back and hopefully they answer me. I've decided to wash my bed sheets because I didn't do that on the first of the month. I usually do it on the first of the month. I didn't do it probably because of my mood recently. Haven't I didn't I didn't wash the I didn't wash I didn't clean the apartment yesterday. I didn't I didn't I didn't even get out of bed yesterday or the day before. I'm going to also wash my duvet. It just doesn't fit obviously in the washing machine right now with everything in it. So I'm going to wash this, put my washing, my clean laundry away, and then I'm going to call the doctor again. I've just gotten off the phone with the doctor, which just felt like the most pointless conversation. I booked an appointment on the 24th for this ECG that I need and a blood pressure and a pulse and a weight. And then the text message that they had sent me before also said that I need to be under the supervision of an ADHD specialist, which to get my diagnosis over here, I went private just to avoid waiting. When I went to the private doctor, he referred me onto the NHS so I wouldn't have to pay like 60 or 80 pounds, however much it was for my medication. So I pay NHS price for my medication. So I don't know why I'm not also referred to, I don't, I don't know. This is, it just makes no sense to me. We never have to do any of this at home. I've never had to do any of this. I don't understand. It's a lot of extra, extra things for, for nothing. Anyways, I booked that appointment. Hi, I've gotten home just now from work. It's a big cloud outside. Kind of cold because I've just taken off my nylons. Come on here before I wash my face off. Today, I think I might just work on some job application. Do, I may pass the last night because I had some vegetables that needed to be used. I don't really know if I really, I'm not really that hungry to be honest. But if I do make dinner, I'm just gonna make a pasta bake. I have a load of dishes to put away. I don't know, I feel just kind of a little bit sad right now. I might take some CBD. Yeah, applying for jobs and having job interviews and the thought of moving again and starting in a new everything is very scary and it's I really don't want to do it. I'm really struggling to be by myself right now. It's really hard. I don't know. It's really overwhelming me. It's really scary to even even to, to talk about so I don't really have anything else to say. I just gotten home from work. I went really quickly to the grocery store because I ran out of milk. Like I have like a drop left of milk. So I went and picked up three more coconut milk. I ran out of blueberries a couple days ago. Got some bread because I'm also running out of that as well. I have a interview tomorrow. I'm kind of, I'm not scared for the actual interview. I don't even know if I'm going to prepare a lot for it. I'm more scared of actually getting up there. So I have to take the bus into Manchester and then get the train from station in Manchester that I've never been to. So I'm going to walk across town to get to it and then get the train. I have to buy my ticket tonight because I, I didn't, I didn't buy my ticket yesterday. It's also my birthday. I don't know if I just said that, but it is my birthday tomorrow. <sighs> 
I'm trying not to be anxious. So obviously, like I have the day off work because my interview's at 2.30. I'm thinking if I leave at 12, that would give me enough time to get into town and make the train that I want to get is at 1, 1.22. And then I think I get there for a little bit before 2. And then it's like a 60 minute walk from the train station. So I think I'm giving myself enough time to not be sitting in the town so much where it can just, anxiety can just manifest. Like I'd rather just like kind of get in there, go do the interview and then like out. Yeah, I'm going to try not to cry and try not to be anxious. I think I'm gonna order some coffee as well today, maybe. I need to order my prescription as well. So I need to order my prescription. I need to possibly look into coffee um, and then I need to do something else but I can't remember. I need to put all these groceries away. I need to I undressed, wash my face off. I want to straighten my hair as well, so I want to straighten my hair. I need to do that as well. I need to figure out kind of my life. This is probably as exciting as my night I'm gonna get. So I've made a pasta bake with green and red peppers, carrots, mushrooms, spinach and cheese. I've just used the last bit of my pepper. I've straightened my hair it's straight now. I've taken off my makeup. I've got into comfortable clothes. I have my room all nice and set up. I've made my bed. I've got my laptop out. Um, I'm going to just get back into bed and eat this. I've found online two episodes of, of Teen Mom 2 that's just come out, I guess, two weeks ago. Uh, so I'm watching that. Is that? I turned 27 today. It's a very cloudy day. I've just gotten up. It's like 8.30. I've just boiled some water to put into my my coffee maker um i ordered some more coffee last night i keep track of how long these last in my agenda they last about 25 days i'm on day 18 of this um bobo link stuff which i've had before ordered if you order 15 pounds worth you get free shipping i ordered 15 because they have two packs for 10 pound and then i just bought a 5.75 one to make it 15.75 i ran out of cereal which is great so i don't have that much cereal this morning but i'm just thinking because I have to leave here at probably a little bit before 12 to get the bus, to get into town, and then have to walk across town to Victoria Station. I booked my train ticket and everything, so my train leaves at 1.22. When I get home, I'm going to clean my apartment because I haven't cleaned in two weeks and it's a little bit gross. I don't know. I also have not prepared for this interview. Right. I've obviously gotten ready. I'm dressed. I was about to leave. I got a missed call and a voice message to say that they have to reschedule my freaking interview for a week and a half away now, which is so annoying. Obviously because I booked today off and I booked everything to get there. I was just about to leave as well, so it was really, 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 really annoying because I could have went to, I could have went to work. So they've booked it for 4 p.m. in a week and a half. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna go to work and then leave like at period five, I guess, to, to try to freaking get there. But it's just, it's it's really annoying uh, that this has happened because obviously I was like prepared to do it. I was, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm really annoyed. I ended up, I cleaned the bathroom this morning and I was thinking, okay, when I get back, I'll, I'll clean the rest of the house. So I guess I can, I can clean the rest of the house now. I called my mom before too at 11 and I got off the phone at 11.30 with her saying, okay, like I have to go and, and, and get my stuff ready so I can leave. Like I was about to, to, not about to leave but I was like I was I was leaving like I was getting ready to leave I'm just so annoyed it's my birthday I'm so annoyed um I'm going to get unchanged and I can put my laundry on now I guess and clean the clean the rest of the, the house I guess so it's still my birthday I've finished cleaning I 
think what I'm going to do is I'm going to contact the council because I always get home super late to, to, to do it. Contact them and ask them why they took out so much money. I have the garbage to take out so I'm going to do that right now after I, yeah. My mom, she doesn't know that the interview's cancelled yet so I kind of want to, kind of want to edit a little bit or finish editing before I, before I tell her. I opened up my birthday present from her which then I just started crying after. I don't know why. She said she also sent a package package as well but I haven't got a package yet so when I take the garbage out I'll check to see if there's a, there's a package. She said it would fit through this slot so hopefully there's something there. Yeah I didn't want to feel like shitty today but I do kind of feel shitty. It kind of really sucks. I refunded my ticket my train ticket which was £10.80 and I only got £3.10 or something back so that's kind of really annoying. This is my birthday dinner I guess. Leftover pasta bait. I'm gonna end this vlog here today because I'm just gonna get into bed. Watch Teen Mom or something. I kind of just feel like, I feel like, I feel like shit. I feel really sad now and I don't want to vlog anymore so. I'm gonna end today here and